Yo, what's going on everybody? Shampoo here at Dub Central. Want to go ahead and talk about this uh, Steam game sharing feature that we're hearing about now. Um, it's cool that they're doing this. Definitely, this is something that's actually has been rumored uh, several times before. News spreading about it and everything, but this is now official, and they're actually going to be rolling out the beta here pretty soon. But the thing about this is, is that Microsoft was trying to do this with the Xbox One. Now, this was one of the features that people said that was one of the good things about it. But the thing about what the Xbox One was trying to do is that this was going to be something behind. Like the thing is, it's it's this feature was one of those things that okay, it, it might have been understandable for people that wanted to pay for that feature for it to be like a family game sharing thing, then that would have kind of been understandable and stuff. But the thing is, is that Steam, you know, it's on the open platform of the PC and Steam has all these crazy sales all the time, whether it's their midweek madness sales or their substantial straight beastly sales that go throughout the whole year. You know what I'm saying? But here's the one thing that I don't like about it. Only one person can access the library, really, at a time. Now, f from how I, like, read it, it seems as if, like, I think both people can access the library, but if we both want to play the same game, we can't. At, at the same time, we can't. And that's where I have my issue. Because, you know, it, I guess it's different between people's play styles. A lot of people only play like they're they're mainly single player focused they play multiplayer games but they're mainly single player focused so this is probably actually pretty good for you because if you have someone else that pretty much is the same way then y'all can just you know go in on your single player games and y'all can share the games and, and that's cool but for somebody that's you know uh really into gaming a lot you play single player and you play multiplayer a good amount then this is kind of like a brick wall in a way for instance, with me, you know, I play a good amount of multiplayer games, and I want to play with my brother, I want to play with certain people, and if I'm game sharing with a particular person that I do want to play with, I can't, and that's where the problem lies. I would prefer it to be the game sharing mechanic that PlayStation Network has, and have it so that, okay, maybe I can only share with one to three other people, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? Like, to me that is a better thing to do because it allows me to play with the other people that I'm sharing the game with and I'm not restricted from that you know um, that's what I would prefer and it's because you know when I do get a game a lot of times they are co-op and think about how many games that are coming out here in the near future or that are out already that are co-op experience games that you know you and your brother you and your uh, uh, your boy or you and your girl or whatever would like to play with each other but y'all have to buy the same game you know that's why it's when you can just share it you know with the PlayStation it's possible with this you know like I said it's cool they're doing this but at the same time it's like you know um, it's a little unfortunate that it's gonna have this kind of policy behind it but at the end of the day it is a win it's cool that they're doing this not knocking it whatsoever in, in that aspect, but I just prefer it if it was more like how the PSN is set up with its game sharing um, policy other than how they're rolling this out. Um, but, you know, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Because, you know, and like I said, when you think about it, this next generation, they're really focusing on a lot of co-op and online kind of experiences they really are especially with the success of multiplayer this generation and how uh, games like Gears of War and all this stuff showed how co-op like campaigns and stuff like that are where things should or things are kind of going to be leading and going I'm telling you this this is what's going to happen with a good amount of like very highly rated games you know and when you want a game share, you're not going to be able to. Well, you will be able to, but you're not going to be able to play together through the Steam um, service with how they got it set up. But I guess it just is what it is. 
at the end of the day. This is cool news, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget, guys, if you are into anime, check out my main channel, Anime Central. Bunch of big things going on over there all the time. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to thumbs it up, guys. It helps me out a lot. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Cheers.